Hey, I uh, hope you're doing well, and I uh, just wanted to come and encourage you again uh, from uh, the Word, this time from Colossians chapter number 2, um, verse number, um, let's see, let's look at verse number uh, 8, 9, and 10. He says, see to it that no one takes you captive by philosophy and empty deceit, according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the world, and not according to Christ. For in him the whole fullness of deity dwells bodily, and you have been filled in him who is the head of all rule and authority. Well, um, Actually, I think that I started at the second part of verse number seven. But um, w when you're looking at this, take some time. He says, see to it. Now, like, uh, make sure, friends, he's saying, that no one takes you captive. Uh, interesting in the word and uh, the Greek, uh, that word take captive, it's a rarely used word, but it means to uh, kidnap and was used in the context of uh, an army that might invade and carry off as a spoil of war a person. And Paul speaking in the spiritual sense is saying, listen, make sure that no one carries you away as a spoil of war, a spiritual war, by philosophy an empty deceit according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the world, and not according to Christ. Now, friends, Paul faced a battle uh, with legalism uh, in the early church. And what he found was that though he was preaching the gospel of grace and freedom in Christ and liberty, there were others who were coming right behind him trying to impose uh, parts of the law, uh, impose Judaism on Gentile believers. And he says, man, they were bringing them into bondage. And what they were doing was they they were using philosophy, uh, principles of men, empty deceit, uh, human tradition, according to the element or the thinking of the uh, a human thinking or the spirits of the world and not according to Christ. And my experience as a Christian was that even though I had received Jesus as my savior, and been born again by the Spirit of God, by grace through faith, that all of a sudden I was being entrapped and captivated by legalistic Christianity that was putting me on a treadmill of performing for acceptance with God. And what legalistic Christian always does is it emphasizes what you can do or what you must do instead of emphasizing what Christ has done. So if the focus of your relationship with God is on you and what you do, he's saying this is misplaced. Don't go there. Don't become a slave to these traditions of men. And in my experience, many of these, you know, rules and regulations, and sometimes they called them uh, standards, uh, they had nothing to do really with what the Bible was teaching. And they used the, the Bible in a twisted way to try and impose these rules and regulations. And Paul's saying to us, it's, it's not according to Christ. It's not according to what he's done. But then in verse 9, he says, For in him the whole fullness of deity dwells bodily. He's saying, in Jesus, there was absolutely nothing lacking. He was the full expression of God in bodily form. But catch this, friends. And you have been filled in him. Um, this word filled could also be translated complete or made complete. 
And so you can say, in Christ is the fullness of God, and you are complete in him. Which means you don't need to go back on a performance treadmill. You don't need to go back to a legalistic a form of per performing or Christianity. You don't need to go back and add to it what men's traditions are. Christ, Jesus, is more than enough, and you are full, filled with him. You are complete. Nothing was lacking in Jesus, and get this, nothing is lacking in in you. You have right now everything you need and will ever need in Christ Jesus, and Christ Jesus is in you. Now he says, who is the head of all rule and authority? Well, friends, I hope that this just makes your heart bubble forth with joy because we can live our lives in a constant state of lack, thinking we need something or more of this and more of that. And when you got Jesus, you got everything you will ever need. Let that sink in. And I know that you'll know some people who need to be encouraged with this message. So you forward it to them or uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel or however you get this and, uh, Pass the encouraging word on. I love you. Have a great week. God bless.